The North Atlantic Ocean is in its second year of record heat. We expect another bustling season, and that means the hurricane hunters are busier than ever. That's right, and Weather Authority meteorologist Brandon Orr met up with the NOAA hurricane hunters as they prepare for the season ahead. You're looking at a P-3 Orion, the same exact Hurricane Hunter aircraft that flew through Hurricane Andrew back in 1992 before it devastated South Florida and will be the same aircraft to navigate the next big Florida hurricane. As people on the ground are evacuating and moving away from hurricanes, the NOAA Hurricane Hunters are moving toward the storm flying straight into the eye wall. Do your friends and family think you're crazy for doing this? Uh, yeah. Some may say it's crazy, but these jobs are important. In fact, they're the most vital piece of the puzzle when it comes to forecasting tropical systems. Take us through the process from a storm is forming out there, This you're creating your first flight plan for this storm, and how you change your ideas, how does that process go through some of your final flights. We will actually be watching with the Hurricane Center these waves coming across the Atlantic as they begin developing into tropical storms. Quite often what we'll do is we'll take our aircraft and deploy down to the Caribbean so that we can get to flying on them as soon as they're directly threatening the United States. Flight Director Richard Henning has been doing this for decades. Once we get into the storm environment, the idea is, is that you want to make sure that everybody on the plane gets home safe. As he and the other NOAA hurricane hunters are in the air, the data they collect is sent back in real time to meteorologists on the ground and then relayed to all of us. The first hurricane of the season. Waiting for the latest updates on wind and strength. And these drop sons that are deployed out of the bottom of the plane measure everything from temperature to wind speed all the way down to the surface. This is just one of three different generations, including this smaller version being used and transitioned into this season and even an experimental one. The gadgets they use may not be very large, but their impact is vast. Measuring the winds from up in the sky all the way down to ground level, scanning the storm like an MRI and calculating waves and sea spray. That data gets processed here, and from that we get an idea of how strong the winds are at the surface. Yes, and the, the great thing about this instrument is that the stronger the hurricane, the more accurate it becomes. As the crew on board is gathering that crucial information, the one at the helm of the aircraft is Lieutenant Commander David Keith. So we have our, our yoke, you know, this manipulates our ailerons. It helps roll the plane left and right. He makes three to four passes through each storm, flying for about eight hours straight. Computer models need real measurements, and that's what we're doing here. Our job is so important because we're trying to make sure everyone is safe and keeping their eye on the ball for aircraft safety. As far as the future of hurricane honors, both Keith and Henning say the technology and forecasts will only continue to advance. The storms are very powerful. They're complex. They're ever-changing. Uh, so we have to work as a team. And when hurricane season wraps up at the end of November, the work doesn't stop there. There is no off season for science. Work continues flying into wintertime storms and even severe weather systems.